Today is all about finding a realistic and affordable storage solution, not to mention aesthetic. So many hats and masks and laundry. That's mostly your laundry. I have not been able to find it on Facebook Marketplace and I'm refusing to buy it new. Thank you to Ritual for sponsoring a portion of this video. you but having everything in its place is a key part of my daily mood ever since my partner moved in with me that is Elliot we've had a hard time finding enough storage for all of our things despite me making some serious cuts to my wardrobe and it probably doesn't help that I'm in the middle of a kitchen reno to fill you in my name is Kelsey this is making home the series where we're on the journey of turning this house into a home now with new episodes thanks to my partner moving in and also that long awaited kitchen makeover. So today we are talking about this basement landing dressing room closet area that's in between my bathroom and the bedroom. So even when I was first making over this space, I knew that the storage solution was gonna be kind of temporary. I was using things that I just already had and spiced it up a little bit with some gold handles. <laughs> I knew this storage situation and even aspects of this dressing room needed to be addressed ideally before Elliot moved in. So I did reach out to a cabinet maker to get a quote for what a storage situation of my dreams would look like in this area. So I actually sent over some very mediocre sketches with my ideas, material choice to match the stairs here, and even some sliding doors that reveal and hide the laundry. But what I ended up with was a quote for $12,656. not doing that. Now, if I've learned anything over the years, it's that craftspeople are skilled, materials are really expensive, and projects like this take time. So although this price may be totally justified, it still doesn't mean that I can afford it or that it's a smart investment for my home. I just don't think you're making your return on a $12,000 built-in storage. I just don't, I don't know. Unless that built-in storage is the kitchen, <laughs> then, then you can spend the money. Enter backup plan. Obviously my mind goes to Ikea, so I actually found two dresser options on their website that could work. First up, the Tarva dresser. Now two of these would actually fit perfectly where the current situation is, but it is unfinished, so that means I would have to do some kind of finishing myself. Second up is the Malum series. Now they have an oak veneer that is very beautiful, but unfortunately the big size won't fit too, and then you could do one of their kind of like smaller sizes. They have some size options, but ultimately nothing's gonna fit perfectly. There's gonna be some gaps. Ultimately, I am just too in love with this oak finish on the Malum units. That's actually what I wanted in the custom units. So that's what I'm gonna go for. And I did find a six drawer unit available on Facebook Marketplace. This is my sister helping me with her car because um, this is the first time something didn't Honda fit. Get it, because I have a Honda fit. Okay, it's time to deal with some overflow here with some new storage. I'm really hoping that a few dressers are gonna give me the look of my dream built-in. So many hats and masks and laundry. That's mostly your laundry. <laughs> Like, look at what I'm dealing with. Look at the size of this storage. Like, one hand depth, one hand height. It's not big. It only held that many bathing suits. Anyways, I'm ready for this new thing. Better. Stairs. They're both oak. Okay. That is temporary. Unfortunately, two of these won't fit perfectly and it breaks my heart, but we'll figure it out. This we just needed. Let's get my underwear shot. This is my underwear.
Okay, so here we are after living with this dresser for a little while. I am just so relieved and happy with how much stuff it stores. It made a big difference in the amount of things that didn't have a home. So one of the reasons that I wanted a custom built-in unit is because behind these dressers, along the wall, I put in a lot of outlets and even like this internet thing, which means that the dresser can't be pushed all the way against the wall. That reminds me of a video I wanna film, Home Makeover Regrets. I don't know when that will come out, but make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. With bells on. Anyways, my idea when I was getting a custom unit built was to do some kind of like flap thing at the back where I could like access the outlets. But obviously that's not happening. However, I think I did come up with a good hack. So I was really happy with this stair bookshelf when it was just my books and it was just like some parts of the stairs. I think it looked okay. But now with all of Elliot's books included, I think it's a little too busy and it's not giving what I wanted to give. So what if we stack the books along the dresser, that's like a new linear bookshelf, and it will hide the gap behind the dresser. I feel like I just need to say here that um, I'm a big lover of library books. I don't have a lot of books, and I'm realizing that I feel like a lot of these are just like Elliot's textbooks. There's a lot of finance stuff here. Okay, this is looking good, and the stairs look a lot cleaner. But to fill you in on the rest of the things I wanna do in this space, I think above the dresser here, as much as I love like things bright and white, I do feel like it's lacking something. So I need art, color, something kind of like above this dresser area. This emerald green bench, I have a love-hate relationship with, I think, the piece and the function itself is great. The emerald color hasn't really like landed in the room for me yet, so I feel like I need to find something else emerald or like a way to bring in this bench a little bit more. And of course we need to figure out the other half of this dresser situation because this is just temporary and it ain't it. And I was able to sell those other drawer and cabinet pieces to other people that were looking for storage in their home. So I'll see you guys when I know what's happening with that. Okay, so I've been looking for a second-hand oak veneer Malum dresser and I have not been able to find it yet. But I did find an idea. This is a sample piece of oak veneer wood from my kitchen makeover. And since my space can't fit two six drawer units, I think I'm gonna have to use a three drawer unit and then maybe hack together something else in between, like maybe a shelf over the laundry, since we do like the laundry basket available, to shoot hoops with. I have not been able to find it on Facebook Marketplace and I'm refusing to buy it new. It's always on Facebook Marketplace. I've seen so many, they just like won't answer me. After about a month of dead ends, dresser selling way too quickly on Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji, and someone who literally deleted and blocked our convo the day I was supposed to pick it up, I got a lead. Guys, I finally found the other part of the dresser set that I need. I found this guy, I can go today, and I squeezed it in today even though I have to be at the airport in like two hours for my flight. But, honestly, priorities. You know on Facebook Marketplace that you gotta go pick up an item like as soon as, don't hold back, go get it. I use, I can pick it up today as like a selling feature to choose me over anybody else. So, when I say I'll pick it up today, I mean it. And this one's in good condition. This girl ghosted me, and that one wasn't even in good condition. The drawer didn't close, so it's good she ghosted me, because a week later, here we are. We gotta get back on the road, because um, I don't even know if I'll have time to take this out of my car before we have to leave for the airport. Hello, what do you need me to do there? Help me move something downstairs. Okay. 
I'm trying to do like follow me too, but I don't know. Oh, oh look at us. <laughs> wow. That was so easy. Okay. Needs your help. Okay, running time. Go for a run. Okay, wait, 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 before you go. Look at What the heck is this? I DIY'd these. Do you know what I thought that was at first? What? A jock strap. A jock strap? Look at wear this for safety. I'm running in the forest. Yeah, but you have to make it to the forest and back. By walking down a hill. Safely. So safety. Do you want more? <laughs> no. I'm not gonna wear them. And then he never returned home. Well, now you've jinxed it. I'm glad you have video evidence of my murder. It do be looking like a hot mess in here still, so I'm, I'm excited to pull this thing together. And this dresser is gonna hold a lot more than that little temporary unit that I have, so we're getting there. bigger gap than I wanted, but I'll put it to use. Um, I have something to show you guys, but before I do that, it's time to take our daily vitamin. It's the new year and whatever your ambitions are, it's important to set goals that you can actually stick to. So I do this by implementing small changes in my daily habits. This is one of those daily habits, the Essential for Women 18 Plus Multivitamin by Ritual. So I actually started taking this this time last year and something that helps me stay consistent is having it a spot that I can see and visit every day and keeping it next to something that I like need to do, like brush your teeth or have coffee, but I don't drink coffee. If you're an avid Sorry Girls viewer, you know the drill by now. Ritual has full traceability when it comes to ingredients, packaging, and any studies. The Essential for Women 18 Plus is USP verified, which means that what is on the label is what is in the product, period. It is also vegan, non-GMO project verified, gluten-free, and made without any major allergens. And I feel good about filling any nutrient gaps with nine key nutrients, such as iron, magnesium, vitamin D3, to name a few, in just two daily capsules. The capsules feature a delayed release, meaning that they are designed to be gentle on an empty stomach. Literally, I was about to have one before breakfast, and Elliot was like, um, what are you doing? You can't have that on empty stuff. And I was like, yes, I can. Delayed release. <laughs> Don't try to mansplain me my Essential for Women 18 Plus multivitamin. If you want to try this multivitamin subscription to turn your habits into a ritual, Get it? Then make sure you click the link down below and use our code STORYGIRLS30 to get 30% off of your first month. Time to show you what I bought. <laughs> I bought a third Malum dresser. So I know what you're probably thinking and you're like, but I thought another one wouldn't fit. And it won't, <laughs> but I do want to use this one for pieces as the top to bridge that gap. And this one I also got for 100, but out of all the ones I picked up, it is definitely like not in bad condition, but it's not as great. The goal is to um, take this part and cut the top to fit within that gap between the two dressers. Let's see what we can do here. I use tape to make sure that my cut is clean and that the wood doesn't splinter at the edges. This piece I'm adding will match the other dresser fronts and hide the pieces that I'm using to hold up this whole shelf bridge thing between the two dressers. This is where I'm hiding if there's an intruder. <laughs> I think that looks so sleek. And also, look, it's like a little desk moment too. This is legitimately where I talk to my therapist. This is looking exactly how I want it to. And guys, we're basically on the way to final touches, which I have a really exciting idea for a little mini gallery wall moment at the back here. 
Okay, so to liven up this back wall, I wanna do a gallery wall. And to do this, I'm actually using a website called Partial. It's supporting local artists and allowing us to try slash rent art before we buy it or even if you don't wanna buy it at all, which is really cool. So they have like monthly options. This is not sponsored. I'm just really excited about this. You can find local artists near you. And after trying this piece, I've actually decided to buy it. My partner already said that he loved this piece so much, so it's ours now. This is our art baby now. So depending on the art that you get, it may or may not come with a frame. So I actually went yesterday to the thrift store to find some frames for some of these pieces. I also ended up DIYing a frame as well, and to do this, I just used some cutoffs from the table that I laid a little while back. And the one frame I did thrift, I ended up painting. In addition to the books on this dresser, I'm actually bringing in a little jewelry wardrobe. Now, Becky upcycled this a while back for a video, and then recently on a Twitch stream, I upcycled it a little bit further to meet my needs. I think step one, honestly, is to cover most of this with fabric. I think that's what I wanna do. I absolutely love it, and I think it makes the jewelry just shine and stay organized. I didn't realize that I wanted to upgrade this vent until I started taking a look at this space and I thought the vent just looked really cheap. So I actually went to the door store and I was able to find a recreation kind of vintage vent. It's not very easy to find vintage vents that are the correct size for the ceiling with the ability to close and open them to control air. So I got these recreation ones and I think it's gonna bring a lot more character. I have just a few more things I wanted to tweak in order to pull the space together. So let's get to those final touches and we can see how it all looks. Now guys, I was almost done this makeover. And then something was off about this area with the laundry because you could see the wall through it. And since I still have pieces of the Ikea dresser left over, I decided to put the two side pieces from that Ikea dresser along the back so it kind of hides the wall and it really makes this unit look even more like a built-in. Okay, what do we think of this final result? It wasn't exactly what I originally envisioned, but honestly, it is so close. I just think it really competes for $12,000. This, I think, only cost me 300 something because each IKEA unit was around 100 bucks. So like 300 versus $12,000. This is like a big win. I think adding some of that oak to the back really kind of helped the whole unit look more built in and cohesive. And I'm so here for this bookshelf art gallery moment. Like I'm kind of keeping things very simple in my house and it's nice to have a place where I'm like, this is where things are a little bit busier and more maximalist. It's my maximalist corner. 
If you want to see more similar spaces, we actually did Nikki DeMar's closet, which was a really cool dressing room area. And uh, we'll link that here if you want to check it out. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. I can't get over how much it looks like an actual store mm -hmm. meets a New York loft mm -hmm. meets like 70s vibes. Meets uh, Nikki meets, it's so cool.